everybody, what's up? I'm Mason the Mason with Wyatt and Sons Construction. In today's video, we're building a little shed. It's 36 by 16. We actually have a machine. We're digging our own footers today. We started by putting a stake in the far corner over here, right about the only spot it can be from the bank over there. We measured 36 over here and put this stake in. So those two corners were established. Then we took a uh, another tape. We took two tape measures. One off of here, 16 foot. One off of the other existing corner, and got our cross measurement. We made a triangle with the tape measures and found that. So it was 16 foot this way, and our cross measurement was uh, 39 foot four and three quarters. We did the same thing. We made a triangle tape measure on the other side and got that corner. We put a string line around the stakes everywhere and uh, painted these white lines right underneath it. We cut the string low, that way we could trace right along. Since we got it all laid out and he's starting to dig, we know that's our lowest corner. So that's where we gotta get our height from. We gotta make sure we're depth wise good for the frost. So I take my tape measure Make sure we got about 40 inches, and then I set that on my beeper transit. Turn the beep beep on, the transit, and the beep beep. So I just take my stick. Oops, not We're gonna match this height here around the rest of our dig. And now we just match that height around the entire rest of the dig. Dad's just gonna level that off. He's digging right on the line. It's a 30 inch bucket, so we'll have tons of space in these footings. And as he's digging, I just gotta stand here with the transit and keep dropping it in the hole, telling them what to do, up or down. That's about it. Excavator is all done. Jake dug out all the stuff that fell in on the edges. We got the rebar chairs spaced out. Rebar laying down, about to tie them up. So I know my footer is this height and I want to remember it. So I'm going to put a mark right here. That's my uh, footer height right now, the bottom of it. I'm going to go over to a my saw cut, my concrete over here, match it up, figure out the distance. That's That way I can just do the math right before we pour, because I'm gonna use this to pour the footers. Well, I also know um, the footer is gonna be eight inches, so I should just get that measurement. So I'll move her down, and it's opposite what you think. Down means up, up means down, so. We're going to put at 8 inches of concrete here, so that's going to move my stick up 8 inches, which means I need to move this down 8 inches. Mark. So that's where I gotta set this next time we uh, do this when we pour. When we pour, I gotta put it at the same spot it's at now. So I'm gonna go get my height off my concrete, figure out the distance, that way I can just set up off that concrete next time. Here's the concrete, I'm gonna go right off the saw cut for next time. Okay. That's right off of this eight. So I know next time I'm going to set my transit up exactly the same off of this saw cut and then measure up my stick
66 and three quarter inches. So next time when I come here, I know my footer height and I need to set it for the top of my footers. I go here, get off my saw cut like it is. Close enough. And then up 66 and three quarter inches. The reason I did that with the transit transit is because I know that's not going to move and the bottom of this dig is just a little rocky so there's going to be no way to get the perfect measurement that I was using to dig this so now I know I know exactly where the footer should be on what I made the height of this whole bottom of the dig and these footers are ready to pour Jake's got them all tied overlapping real good on the chairs four foot apart here's our footings all caved in fantastic this side's a little better but yeah hopefully you can see the rebar in the camera we got to dig down quite a bit this side's dug this was a little more shallow than the other side the other side caved more but we're done that back wall and we got around the corner here we just got this little mess here it's a little bit deeper down the hole so a lot more fell down ready to go for i'm the stick man i gotta make sure my footer heights are all good transit set up about to go match my height on my saw cut now I just measure up 66 and 3 quarter inches. It should be about the same as the other day because I put the transit in the same spot. Alright, so I'll just put a mark at 66 and 3 quarters. Move my beeper to it. Put it on uh, where I marked it. Now I gotta go check the footers out. As long as I look like four inches over that rebar, I'm good. Concrete trucks here. About to start pouring these. Not using height pins today. Got my transit. So I just turn this on. And they're gonna pour it to this height. So as dad rakes it back, I just put my transit on it. Make sure it's real close to that peak. What happened, Anthony? Close. I stood under the chute. Brilliant idea. <laughs> <laughs> Concrete. That was a perfect mouse, man. Nice. Holes are filled. Pretty deep. All done with concrete. Hangout time. That's it for pouring these footers. We'll be laying block tomorrow. 